Hello friends, in the last video we have seen about directed angle and types of directed angle. Now we are starting second part of this chapter that is system of angle measurement. So we are studying two system of angle measurement up to 10 standard. You have seen that angle is measured in what? Degrees. Up to 10 standard we have studied about studied that what? Angle. Angle is measured in what? Degree. And whenever we are measuring the angle in what? Degrees. At that time that system is called as sexagesimal system. Means up to 10 standard the system of angle measurement which we are using is called as what? Sexagesimal system. In this system angle is measured in what? Degrees. And second system of angle measurement which you are studying uh, which is which we are studying in class 11th is called as circular system and in circular system angle is measured in what radian so this is new part for you that in 11th standard we are studying about new unit of angle measurement which is called as what radian first let us discuss about sexagesimal system already just now we have discussed that in this system angle is measured in what degrees means unit of measurement of angle is degrees means if you are measuring the angle in degrees means we are using which system sexagesimal system now we some important results are uh, there uh, let us discuss on it so now we know that one complete rotation so one complete rotation is of how much degrees 360 degree already we know that this one complete rotation or we can say that one revolution is of what 360 degrees means in short one revolution is divided into how many equal part 360 equal part yes a 360 equal part parts mein ise kya kiya hai divide kiya hai and each part is called as what one degree so this 360 parts means how much degrees 360 degrees already we know this result but since it is a part of our syllabus that's why we are discussing on it so one divide one rotation so this angle is what one revolution or we can say that one rotational angle divide this angle in 360 equal part then major of each part is called as what one degree so we are dividing this one rotational angle in 360 equal part each part is called as one degree so already we know it now we are discussing the second very important part which which we have not studied up to class 10th now let us suppose that this will be say 1 degree so let this angle will be of what 1 degree ye to maine bahut bada draw kar liya 1 degree bahut chhota sa hota hai just try to understand aapko easily samajh mein aana chahiye isliye maine ye angle bada nikala hai but think that this angle is of what 1 degree getting it now we are dividing this 1 degree angle in 60 equal part so now i am not able to show that here 60 equal but but try to understand how many equal parts are there 60 equal part 1 degree angle we are dividing in 60 equal part then each part is called as 1 minute each part is called as 1 minute and it is denoted by this notation this dash represents that we are measuring the angle in what 1 minute so in one degree in one degree how many equal parts are there 60 equal parts are there one part is one minute means 60 part will become how many minutes 60 minutes so here we have got one important result that one degree contains how many minutes 60 minutes because this one degree ye pura angle kitna hai one degree hai and we are dividing that one degree into 60 equal part each part is called as one minute and try to understand the notation of the minute so it will be denoted simply simply by dash so one degree contains how many minutes 60 minutes so here we have got one important result that one degree one degree contains how many minutes 60 minutes isn't it अब ये जो one minute है ये बहुत ही छोटा सा एंगल है so let us try to suppose that this will be say one minute तो ये तो इतना बड़ा नहीं हो सकता है just आपको समझ में आना चाहिए इसलिए मैंने इतना बड़ा निकाला एक डिग्री एक डिग्री इससे छोटा होता है और एक डिग्री के अंदर एक मिनट मिनट बोल तो बहुत ही छोटा सा होगा and we are considering this one minute angle one minute angle now I am dividing this one minute into sixty parts again divided it into what 60 part each part is called as one second and one second is denoted by this notation one double dash isn't it this notation is used for what man one second so in one minute how many seconds are there how many seconds are there 60 seconds are there we are dividing this one minute into 60 part each part is called as one second it is denoted by this notation iska matlab ek minute ke andar 60 seconds hai means one minute 
minute will be equal to what 60 second so divide one minute into 60 equal part the major of each part is is what one second and it will be denoted by that notation one double dash so in one minute how many seconds are there 60 seconds are there so these are some newly introduced result try to understand it very carefully now one degree means 60 minute one sorry one degree means six one degree means 60 minutes and one minute one minute is equal to how many seconds 60 seconds so now try to understand that one degree contains how many minutes 60 minutes and if we want to convert this minute into second we have to multiply to it by what 60 क्योंकि एक मिनट के अंदर कितने सेकंड्स होते हैं 60 तो 60 मिनट में कितने सेकंड है निकालने के लिए आपको किससे मल्टीप्लाई करना पड़ेगा 60 से सो so 60 into 60 विल बी 3600 मींस हाउ मेनी सेकंड्स आर देयर इन 1 डिग्री इन 1 डिग्री 3600 सेकंड्स आर देयर 1 डिग्री मींस 60 मिनट एंड 60 मिनट मींस हाउ मच सेकंड 3600 सेकंड्स all these are some important result related with which system of angle measurement sexagesimal system of angle measurement now let us discuss about the second system of angle measurement which is called as what circular system of angle measurement so in this circular system the angle is measured the unit of angle is what radian means angle is measured in radian so what we have seen here in sexagesimal system the angle is measured in degrees and in circular system of angle measurement angle is measured in what radian so now we are trying to understand what is the value of one radian or where we will get one radian angle so name of the system is what circular system that's why we are studying it with the help of what circle so we know that so le let us suppose that here radius of this circle will be equal to what r let r be the radius of this circle how many points are there on the circle infinite points are are on the circle take two points on the circle let a is one point on the circle now take second point b on this circle such that such that this a b a b will be equal to what r now again try to understand if the radius of this circle is what r suppose that value of r is equal to say 5 centimeter okay then take two point on this circle such that this arc length is also equal to what 5 centimeter means will be equal to what radius जो भी radius है उतना ही arc length लेना है if radius is equal to 5 cm then take that arc length is also equal to what 5 cm hope if radius is equal to 10 cm then take two point on this circle such that this arc length is equal to 10 cm means always take arc length equal to what radius or in other word we can say that if this arc length is equal to radius at that time angle subtended by this arc at the center of the circle this angle is subtended by what arc ab at what center of the circle and major of this angle will be equal to what one radian so very simple definition is there what is one radian one radian is the major of angle where it is subtended at the center of a circle it is subtended by what arc of a circle and whose length is equal to what radius of a circle now see the definition one radian is the major of angle this angle is subtended at what center of a circle center of a circle and it is subtended by what arc of a circle circle whose length is equal to what radius so one radian again see one radian is the angle form at what center of a circle this angle is subtended by what arc arc of the circle arc uh, and its length of this arc will be equal to what radius if the length of this arc is equal to radius at that time only we can say that it subtend an angle of one radian at the center of circle agar ye arc length radius ke equal nahi hai so at that time we cannot say that this angle will be equal to what one radian so idea about definition of one radian is clear it is the angle form at what center of a circle it is subtended by what arc of a circle and what is the length of arc radius of a circle means one radian is the angle subtended at center of a circle by an arc of circle whose length is equal to radius so this is simple definition of radian so in this way we have studied about two system of angle measurement first system is called as sexagesimal system in this system angle is measured in what degrees 
then we have seen that one rotation is equals to what one rotation contain 360 degrees then one degree contain how many minutes 60 minute in one minute how many seconds are there 60 seconds are there and in second part we have seen the circular system of angle measurement and in this system angle is measured in what radius now let us try to prove the very important theorem in this theorem we have to prove that the radian so define is independent of radius of a circle means measure of the radian is independent independent means what not depend not depend on what radius of a circle let us try to prove this result uh, with the help of this circle so we are supposing that let o be the center of a circle and r be its radius r is what its radius so what whatever may be our supposition is there first write down all these things so what we are supposing let o be the o be the center of circle o be the center of circle and r is its radius and r is its what radius now how many points are on the circle infinite points are on the circle so we are taking here some point on this circle first take the point a on this circle and now take the point b on this circle such that this arc length AB will be equals to what radius arc length AB is equal to what radius so draw this segment OR now take one third point C on this circle such that this angle AOC angle AOC will be equal to what 180 degrees isn't it so we have taken three point on the circle so write down here take three points three points on the circle on the circle such that such that such that length of arc AB will be equal to we have taken these two point A and B such that this arc length will be equal to what radius so length of this arc AB is equal to radius and later on we have taken a point C such that angle AOC what is the major of angle AOC is equal to 180 degree so we have taken this point which satisfies what this condition now according to definition of one radius if this arc length is equal to radius then definitely this substrand how much angle at the center of circle will be equal to one radian means angle AOB will be equal to what one radian this result we are getting from the definition of what one radian one radian when we can say that it is the measure of this angle is equal to one radian if it form at what center of a circle and substranded by what arc whose length is equal to radius here arc length AB is equal to radius that's why we can say that this angle will be equal to one radian so from this arc length we can conclude that angle AOB is equals to one radian so well from this length of arc we have got angle now from this angle we are trying to find out length of its corresponding arc so for this angle AOC angle AOC which is its corresponding arc AC AC is what corresponding arc we have one formula to find out circumference of circle the pura length jo hai, it will be equal to what circumference and what is the formula to find out circumference will be equal to 2 pi r now here we can observe that for this arc AC arc AC is the half part of this whole circumference yes arc AC is the half part half part of what whole circumference so length of this whole circumference means length mean perimeter length is circumference is also called as what perimeter he ye jo pura length hai ye 2 pi r hai to uska half part kitna hunga so we are taking half of 2 pi r half of 2 pi r means 2 2 will get cancelled we will get what pi r so here we can say that uh, and length of arc length of which arc ac will be equals to what pi r which is nothing but half of 2 pi r 2 pi r means whole circumference and its half part means will be equal to what pi r in this way from this angle we have got arc length ac now once these values are known to us 
now we are using one important result which we have studied in in class 10th so let us revise once again all that result which you have studied in class 10th so let us suppose that this will be say one circle and here I am taking two point on this circle let A is one point and B is one point and what is the major of this angle AOB AOB is equals to 180 so major of this angle AOB is equals to 180 degrees okay so 180 degrees and what is the length of this arc this whole circumference is 2 pi r so this half part of 2 pi r means pi r which already we have discussed uh, discuss here also if this angle is 180 then its length of corresponding arc will be equal to what pi r now let us consider second angle will be equal to what 360 degrees second angle is equal to 360 degrees and for this 360 degrees what is the length of its corresponding arc will be equal to what circumference and circumference is equal to what 2 pi r these are nothing but angle at the center of a circle and these are nothing but length of their corresponding arcs now take the ratio what is the ratio of 180 180 and 360 can I say that this 180 and 360 will get cancelled and we will get 1 by 2 means angle ratio of angle at the center of a circle is equal to 1 by 2 now find out ratio of their corresponding arc what we are getting here pi r upon 2 pi r will be equal to pi r pi r will get cancelled and what we will get 1 by 2 means we can observe that both the ratios are equal and whenever two ratios are equal at that time we can say that values are in proportion already you have studied about ratio and proportion in your earlier classes isn't it now when two ratios are equal we can say that values are in proportion here which ratios are equal angle at the center of circle ratio of angle at the center of circle and this is the ratio of what their corresponding arc lengths and these ratios are equal means we can say that angle and corresponding arcs are in what proportion because their ratios are equal so write down it as it as we know that so considering that this part you have studied in your earlier classes we are writing here we know that we know that angle at center of a circle center of circle is proportional proportional to to length length of their corresponding corresponding arcs okay corresponding arc so now considering that this part is very well known to you now we are using this to prove this theorem so now on one side we are taking angle which are the two angle here angle AOB and angle AOC so we are taking the ratio of this angle angle AOB upon angle AOC we have taken here ratio of angle and we know that ratio of angle is always equal to what ratio of their corresponding arc length so which is equal to this ratio is equal to ratio of their corresponding arc length which is the arc uh, corresponding arc of angle AOB for this angle AOB its corresponding arc is what AB so is equal to length of arc AB upon now which is the corresponding arc of angle AOC for this angle AOC its corresponding arc is AC so length of arc AC already these values are known to us remaining part is just to substitute these values so therefore what is the angle AOB is equal to 1 radian angle AOC angle AOC is equals to how much 180 degrees is equal to arc length AB arc length AB is equals to radius and arc length AC is equals to what pi r here and r r and r will get cancelled which implies that one radian is equal to so when it is divided on this side on this side it will get multiplied so what is the value of one radian 180 degrees divided by what pi 
we if we we'll observe the value of this one radian we will come to know that in this value radius does not appears because the radius will get what cancel and since radius does not appears that's why we can say that this radian major is what independent independent of what radius and that's what we have to prove here radian is what radian is independent of the radius of circle means in the value of radian uh, in the value of radian radius does not appears and if radius does not not appears that's why we can say that radian major is independent independent means what not depend not depend on what radius why we can say that it not depend on radius because radius does not appears in this expression because radius radius will get what cancel and that's what we have to prove here that's why we can say that hence hence we can conclude that hence the radian radian is independent radian is independent of the of the radius of the circle and this completes the proof of this theorem now we are discussing the very important part that is nothing but what relation between degrees and radian and degree means what sexagesimal system and radian means what circular system in other word we can say that these are also the relation between what sexagesimal and circular system of angle measurement or simply we can say that these are relation between what degrees and radian using this relation we are able to convert degree major into radian major or radian major into what degree major means if angle is given in degrees and question is to convert it into radian we are able to use this relation or in other word radian can be converted into what degrees so let us try to get this relation already the, we have proved some important result in this theorem using that uh, important result we will we are discussing relation between degrees and what radian so here observe this result what is the value of one radian is equal to 180 degrees upon pi so one radian will be equals to just now we have seen that one radian what is the value of one radian is equal to 180 degrees upon pi isn't it this is the value of one radian in what degrees using this we are able to convert radian into what degrees now let us simplify it pi divided hai ye side mein pi kya hai divided on this side pi will get multiplied with one radian so we know that suppose that here uh, 1 degree into 30 will be equal to what 30 degrees 1 degree into 30 is what 30 degree in this in the same way pi into 1 radian will be equal to what pi radian pi on this side will get multiplied with 1 radian so pi into 1 radian will be pi radian and on this side what is the remaining part 180 degrees so we have got one very important condition that pi radian is equals to 180 degrees and what is the value of 1 radian into degrees 180 degrees upon pi now we are using this condition to convert degree into what radian now observe this condition what is this condition pi radian is equals to 180 degrees so pi radian keep it as it is 180 degrees can i write it as 1 degree into 180 because lastly again we were taking their product what we will get 180 into 1 degree will be 180 degree means 180 degree can be written as 1 degree into 180 180 is multiplied on this side on this side it will get divided so 180 will get divided on this side and what is remaining term on this side will be equal to 1 degree means what is the value of 1 degree pi radian upon 180 and this is the one important condition using which we are converting degree into what radian so pi radian upon 180 so these important conditions we are using while solving example to convert degree major into what radian major so applying all these results we are starting first exercise of this chapter in the next video